Welcome back everyone. This is the Saturday update on Tropical Storm Melissa. And unfortunately for places along the projected path of this uh, uh, storm, um, increasingly dire. So we're gonna walk you through how the messaging has changed over the last 24 hours, but starting first with the satellite imagery to show you that the system has become much better organized this morning. It is now a tropical storm, virtually a hurricane on the cusp of becoming a hurricane. We think it will become a hurricane uh, later today. So for all intensive purposes, think of it as a hurricane, not just a tropical storm. Uh, max wind speed, 70 miles per hour pressure, way down 982 millibars, still crawling along now west northwest at one miles per hour. Again, I want you to see the satellite imagery. Look how big the impacts are relative to the center. A lot of people fixated on the center. This is a case where you do not want to fixate on the center. So let's talk about where it's going to move over the next several days. And unfortunately, the slow motion is going to continue for another three or four days. Gradually turning more to the west uh, today and tonight and in intensifying, most likely rapidly intensifying, taking it to major hurricane status tonight or tomorrow, major hurricane status as it approaches the island of Jamaica on Tuesday, Monday night or Tuesday. But that, that closest point of approach or landfall, if you will, is not important. What is important is the impacts will be felt over the island of Jamaica for the next two to three days even before, even before the closest point of approach. Now, what do those impacts look like? We're gonna talk about that in a second. After moving over or near Jamaica, then moving over Eastern Cuba on Wednesday, and we take a sort of zoomed out look here, then moving over the Southeast Bahamas or Turks and Caicos uh, area on uh, Wednesday, Thursday, still as a powerful hurricane. So you're watching us here in the Southeast Bahamas, Turks and, Caicos, Turks and Caicos, even Central Bahamas, you really need to start thinking about preparing for this storm. Now, let's talk about the uh, impacts. First, with the wind-based watches and warnings, still a tropical storm warning up for the western uh, tip of Haiti and a hurricane watch. Uh, but what's more important here Jamaica now under a hurricane warning, which means hurricane conditions are now inspect expected. Indeed, based off the latest information, you know, we feel that hurricane force winds are all but certain somewhere over the island of Jamaica. So that's what you gotta be prepared for, starting to get it ready for. But really the biggest thing to talk about here is the uh, extremely heavy rains and catastrophic flooding that will come with a storm because it's moving so slowly. This slow motion is going to really cause a problem. These bright purples here, these bright purples, which include Jamaica and the western tip of Haiti, 20 to 30 inches of rain. So let me say that again, 20 to 30 inches of rain, so much rain that you could almost measure it in feet instead of inches. So that kind of rain is going to cause catastrophic, catastrophic flooding somewhere over the island of Jamaica and potentially Haiti, ultimately extending over southeast Cuba at some point later in the forecast. Now, what does this really mean? You, what does this really mean? You, these are big numbers, but what does this mean? You're really looking at probably widespread power outages and disruption of communication for Jamaica, the inability to move around talking about mudslides and flooding, impassable roads, cut off communities, really a very, very concerning situation unfolding here in Jamaica. So if you've got friends and family, if you've got someone down there on vacation, it's imperative that you get in touch with them, make sure that they are aware and tracking this situation and taking necessary precautions. We will be back tomorrow with more information, the latest information, but you can always, always get the most up-to-date information, including more timely information from hurricanes.gov.